So we're gonna work now on the cat flyer submission on the other hero. What I used to do a lot, not doing really so much lately, but I adapt the technique and we're gonna see it also. So Steven does have that over here, no matter if he had the defense or not. So where I need to get it's just like I'm gonna move the leg back and I'm gonna just like bring my knee over here. I'm gonna try to put it with my knee. So that's what I need to do. Sometimes I'm gonna have to do a long step back over here to be able to bring this ankle over here, the foot. So that's what I need to do. But I also am gonna have to start working with the leg. So why? I'm gonna bring my head under his leg. So I'm going to step back over here and bring my knee to control the foot. I'm also gonna use my hand to bring his leg up. Okay? And I'm gonna shoot my arm. I'm gonna just like on the side and I'm gonna turn my hips to to close my turn over here. The most common mistake is turn my knee in, but I had to try and close over there already, and I'm gonna make sure I have my knee up. And also, like, I'm gonna make sure I'm gonna stay close to the hips, so that's why I have this leg control over here. I can fly, I can just like grab my hand and I can bring the hips to me. Now, how I'm gonna work the niche, I'm gonna open my knee and I'm gonna bring my hips in. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm open my knee and I bring my feet to the finish. That's how we're gonna control it. So one more time. So that's what that's how I need okay. I'm going to push your legs. I'm going to bring my knee to track the foot over here. But I also need the space to bring my head over there. Alright, so as I'm going to do this here, I'm using my hand, you know, on his his ankle over here to bring his ankle, uh, his leg up. So as I'm bringing my knee over there, as I could already get the space with my foot over foot. Look how I'm going to shoot my arm and how I'm going to fall with the foot here. I'm going to turn my side and then make sure I'm going to lean and then make sure I have my strength was ready. So that's how I'm going to do it. And then going my arm, look. And that's how I want to end. So I have that control, I'm going to move my leg back. I'm going to track the foot with my knee. But at the same time, I'm going to start over from here. To bring his leg up. To be able to show my arm, look how I'm going to turn right now. Look how I'm going to fall inside. I'm putting my weight forward. And look now how I'm going to turn. And how I'm going to close my chin over here. I had the hips control, I know that I can, cannot move with these hips before, so that's why I'm going to grab my hand and I'm going to bring it to me. I'm going to make sure I have my knee facing up. I don't want my knee over here, then now there's no more distribution out anymore. So I have my knee face up, I have my right over here. Now I'm just going to pull the light knee, I can use my hips and then can open my knee over here, that's it. I'm just going to do more time, just one more time. Let's try to work now on the angle. So over here, just have the pants, the ankle, doesn't matter. I'm working on my control on the legs. I'm going to make sure I'm step back and I'm going to bring my knee control the foot. At the same time, I know that I need that space to bring my head inside as I'm going to fold my side here. I'm going to shrink my arm, look how I'm going to turn my hips. And I'm going to close my train in the middle of the emotion over here. Look. I have the leg control ready. I'm just going to grab my hand. I'm going to make sure I have these hips close to me. So that's why I put on the brain to close me. Now it's time to start to use my knee. I'm opening my knee and using my hips to be able to finish over here. 